guys, it's Ed from edgejunk.net uh, here again. It's been quite a while, actually, probably another like, couple months since I've uh, done any updates. I've um, been busy working on play, play books and Xbooks. Uh, for this, I wanted to show you guys real quick, uh, probably my last new version I'm going to make uh, for a special customer. He requested, he liked the duo I made and uh, requested me to make PlayStation 4, Xbox One combo laptop. Um, a few people mentioned this in comments and stuff. I thought, hey, I'm gonna give it a shot, see if I can't get both consoles inside the same unit. Um, and I pulled it off. It's quite compact, and you can see the pictures I'm showing on the screen now. Um, it took a lot of work. I probably spent about a month on this getting it right um, here and there. Um, but crazy enough, again, no cooling issues. It's cooling just fine. Um, all the vents are open where they need to be. Um, the unit is the same size as my other Play Books and uh, X Books. It's a 22 inch screen. Um, Still very portable and uh, just a little taller than my old ones to make it uh, make all the extra components fit. It's a lot of stuff for two consoles inside one unit. As you can see here, um, there's a switch on the back that switches between PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. You can't power both of them at the same time. There'd be no reason to, and also it's a lot. That would be a lot of heat here. Um, the customer picked this color combination uh, to kind of mix with the Xbox and PlayStation colors, kind of in one unit. As you can see with the logo here. Um, you have your Xbox One on the right side, and you've got your PlayStation 4 here on the left. Um, and it works great. I'm going to show you guys here with one take. Uh, me turning it on and uh, playing with both. You only need one power cord again. Just one is going to power everything. Plug it in the back here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the play box now. Um, first the Xbox One, then we'll do the PlayStation 4. Uh, this button here, just like any of my other ones, turns on the Vizio. It takes a few seconds for the Vizio TV to turn on. Uh, once it does, you can push the Xbox button, and it'll turn the Xbox on. Uh, it's the Xbox One side. We'll go ahead and boot this up. Um, there's actually the games already in. I'll eject this, show you that. What we'll do is we'll turn it off with the same shot. We'll turn it off and we're going to start to play uh, PlayStation 4. So as you can see, Xbox One, um, the controller works fine with it. You do have to have two separate controllers on it. One is the Xbox One. Kind of like the Duo, um, you know, it takes a little bit to boot one to switch to the other, but it's a lot easier than having two systems plugged into a big TV and hauling that around. If you like having both systems, this is the way to go. So as you can see, the Xbox, typical uh, menu system, it's already installed in the game, Call of Duty, I'm going to go ahead and eject it, so you guys can see it's over here. Call of Duty. Alright, so that's the Xbox, I'm going to go ahead and power it down. Just hold the button, make sure it powers completely down. All right. So now I'm gonna come over to the PlayStation side. There's a switch on the back, as we saw before. We flip that over, the PlayStation side. Now, the problem with the PlayStation, um, sometimes they, for some reason the power button on the actual unit doesn't like to work. It's like a capacitive buttons. I hate them, they're horrible to mod with, and for some reason it being this close to the Xbox doesn't allow it to work in there. Farther apart, it would work all the time, but being together, it would make some good interference, and won't let the Xbox the power button work all the time. Give it a shot now. As you can see, the eject button works, the power button doesn't always like to work. It works sometimes and all the time, but you can start it with the remote. Um, as you can see, it's going to do that now. I haven't really figured that out, it's just those capacitive buttons are horrible for modding. I've never had a problem in my, on my other playbooks, but again, it being so close together with an Xbox, for some reason, it's not letting it turn on all the time with that button. But again, it works 100% of the time with the remote. Now as you can see, it's booting into the PlayStation 4 menus. Again, all one side, one unit. Uh, and here's PlayStation 4. So again, that is a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One uh, inside one system. The 22 inch screen, uh, 1080p has that screen, and the disc for the PlayStation, and obviously we'll go this on this side. Um, that's the play box. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so again, it's a custom unit, custom unit I did for a personal customer of mine. Um, they specifically asked for this and uh, set it up. That's why the color combo is this way and uh, everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now check out my other videos on YouTube uh, with my other playbooks and Xbooks and all that. I think this will be probably the last combo system I do. Um, but thanks, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it.